First, I want to thank the meeting organizer for giving me the opportunity to talk at this very exciting conference. Also thank the audience for listening to my talk. Here are my disclosures. In AV mediated in vivo gene transfer, there are two key immunological components. First is the capsid. How AV dresses matters. It determines tissue tropism and transduction efficiency. It directs intracellular trafficking. It delivers gene payload to the nucleus. Importantly, it also dictates host immune responses. And today I have no time to talk about host immunity to AV capsid. However, I would like to summarize it as the following. First, the B cell immunity to the capsid. Pre-existing neutralizing antibody prevents effective gene transfer, narrowing eligible patient population. Vector capsid induced by neutralizing antibody, induced by neutralizing antibody prevent redosing of the same vector. Capsid may induce dose limiting comp complement activation, platelet reduction, and reload failure. Mitigation strategy include plasmapheresis and capsid specific IgG absorption. Alternative serotypes or capsid engineering for immune escaping, IgG cleaving endopeptidase digestion or transient immune suppression regimens. In terms of BCO immunity to capsid, which is potentially caused by memory T cell activation, cross presentation, bystander activation, and other mechanism leading to transient transaminitis. Mitigation strategy includes corticosteroids, additional transient immune suppression regimens. The second component is AAV vector genome, which is therapeutic payload carrier, mediates gene therapeutic benefits, achieves long-term stay. It also triggers innate pattern recognition receptor engagement and adaptive transient immunity. I would like to give an overview on AAV innate immune interactions. When AAV enter the body, first encounter pre-existing neutralizing antibody, and then get engaged with TRR2 receptor on the antigen presenting cell surface and, and trigger the uh, capsid sensing. And second, could internalize into the, uh, the endosome, engage with the TR9 and the myo 88 and trigger DNA sensing involved with C gas and stain pathway, as well as the M2 pathway as showing here. And finally, AAV could potentially trigger double strand and the single strand RNA sensing. Many years ago, pioneer work by Dr. Jim Wilson demonstrated that CPG depleted AAV evades immune response. They use TR9 lockout showed that diminished uh, transgene and capsid specific T cell and prolonged transduction. They also use the same lockout showed reduced inflammatory cytokine and, and uh, chemical uh, response at early stage of AAV transduction. When deplete uh, CPG motif, they found that transgene cDNA uh, uh, re depletion of the C CPG motif reduces the transgene and the capsid specific T cell and stabilize muscle transduction. And in, in terms of implication, clinical implication of AAV DNA sensing, recently Fisher Wright <clears throat> did a retrospective study and, and suggest that stability of AAV hemophilia B clinical gene therapy is negatively correlated with number of CPG motif in transgene cDNA. A more recent study with uh, hemophilia B uh, gene therapy suggests it's the same. And importantly, such a immune response to AAV is not always sterile responsive, steroids responsive. And Fraser also proposed that computational uh, approach to uh, predicted uh, TR9 activation potential could be the next generation of vector cDNA design. I would like to show you some primary analysis of nuclear acid immune sensing to AAV transduction in white type and macular animals. Work was done by my colleague, uh, Yuki uh, Maida, and my collaborator, Kate uh, Fetcher. 
we primarily focus on three main pathways of DNA sensing. We found the AV transduction rapidly reduce inflammatory responses, uh, induce uh, inflammatory responses in white type of animals. We also found that AV inflammatory response depends on endosome TLRs and stain pathways, which is demonstrated by transduction in different lockout animals. AV and AIM2 lockout increases AV transduction at early and late time points, but has no impact on anti-drug antibody IgG response. Here, as shown by AV1 over muscle transduction, as well by AV9, uh, A1AT IV injections. So in summary, engineering cDNA for sustained strong expression of the transgene uh, require us to consider two important factors. And if we reduce CPG motif, we could potentially increase stability of the transient expression. But if we optimize codon usage, we should be able to enhance expression level. Our job is balance the two factors, accomplish stable uh, high expression. Recently, uh, George Church and Yang Kai Cheng come up a very elegant design to inhibit it, DNA sensing. They incorporated TO line inhibitory sequence in AAV genome. And then they found this sequence can in enhance AAV muscle transduction and suppress CDA TC response. They also found that the sequence can enhance AAV transduction in ice after intravitreal delivery. Our lab also tested this system and found this sequence can suppress inflammatory cytokine as early as three hours after AAV mediated over muscle injection. And so now I'm gonna switch the gear to adaptive transient immunity. And in this case, we found that AAV specific antigen presentation by professional antigen pre presenting cells is a main cause for adaptive uh, transient immunity. When AAV inadvertently transduced antigen presenting cells, the capsid will be processed as capsid proside, uh, peptide. And when enter the nucleus and transcribe and express the trans transgene messenger RNA and the protein, then this messenger, this protein will be processed uh, and present together with some capsid peptide as class one molecule trigger the CD8 T cell response. Alternatively, those capsid peptide can be also presented as class two molecule trigger CD4 T cell response. So since the antigen presentation of the transgene is the major cause of adaptive immunity. So the strategy uh, to reduce a trans immunity uh, should be focused on detargeting from antigen presenting cells. The first strategy is to use tissue specific promoter for transcriptional detargeting. In this case, if we use a ubiquitous promoter, it can transduce a perfect tissue and generate a beautiful expression. But at the same time, this vector can also, if inadvertently transduce the antigen presenting cells could also present the transgene as a class one molecule trigger CD8 T cell response. However, if we switch the promoter to a tissue specific such as liver specific, after injection, we only get a liver specific expression, but when this AAV transduce antigen presenting cells, since this promoter will not work efficiently in these cells, it will generate less or reduced antigen presentation. And then as is showing by this spot assay, showing tremendous reduction by TPG promoter in terms of spot to um, NAC-Z transgene. This also can be used to express highly immunogenic antigen ovalmin. And as you can see, TPG uh, significantly enhanced the transduction uh, as compared to ubiquitous promoter. So the second strategy is, use, is to use uh, cell-specific endogenous microRNA for post-transcriptional detoxing from antigen presenting cells. In this case, you incorporate a microRNA binding site that is specific to antigen presenting cell specific microRNA. And when you get into other tissues such as uh, brain and uh, muscle, since knock of those APC specific microRNA, you get a beautiful expression. 
However, when this A B tr transduce antigen presenting cells, and those cells they have endogenous expression of this so specific micron A form RNA induced complex, and then we A B transduce into those cells and express the messenger RNA. Uh, the transgene will be cleaved by those rest, and then you will have reduced antigen presentation on the surface. To test this principle in non-human primates, my collaborator Ron DeRocious and put those microRNA binding sites into AAV expressing broad neutrons in antibody to HIV virus. When he put those virus into monkey muscle, there's a two possibilities. One possibility, if you have anti-drug antibody response, you will have neutralized uh, vector, uh, the antibody. And then, then if you have those micron incorporated, and then hopefully you can reduce the uh, anti-drug antibody response and you have successful expression of the new broad neutrons in antibody kill HIV, HIV virus. And then he put into a monkey model of chef infection, a single injection can reduce uh, the uh, chef level to undetectable for at least three years. The bottom line is that Ron created a Miami monkey that is functional cured by micromanaged uh, AEV vector expressing broad neutralizing antibody to HIV. So encouraged by this data, my colleague Manish Muhiri uh, uh, continues screen, uh, his screen for more potent APC specific micron, micron A's. He used uh, in, uh, in vitro assay use ovuming as a sensitive uh, reporter gene. And he wants to search for the, the micron A has high expression in myoblasts and low expression uh, in antigen presenting cells. He used uh, micron 142 binding site as a reference, identify the two new binding sites that have strong inhibition to APC uh, ex uh, antigen presentation. And then he put this uh, binding site in combination with or without micron 142 binding site and inject into muscle expressing ovaming. As you can see here, that only the AAV without micron binding site has no uh, ovuming expression or other binding site vector has strong and, and high level expression. And then on the opposite, in the opposite, that when you look at the anti OVA IgG, only the vector without micron binding site has a strong anti IgG response, uh, IgG response, but not micron binding site vector. When they look at the infiltrates uh, in histology in the muscle tissue, a dramatic reduction of infiltrates in the micron binding site as compared to AV without uh, micron detargeting and quantified as this bar graph. And then when staying with CD, CD8 and Grazan B, the same pattern was showing here. And on the other side hand, when you quantify persistent vector genome, you will see micron binding site a remarkably increased persistence of the vector genome as compared to without binding site in the muscle. And also staying with the F480 markers also show the same uh, inhibition pattern with micro and binding site. And to understand the mechanism of how this works, um, uh, Manish performed the study and he found that novel AAV, uh, novel APC detargeting micro and binding site uh, Blunt ADA induction by altering APCs and the T cell um, to a transgene specific suppressive phenotypes, as shown by macrophage, by dendritic cells, CD4 positive T cells, ovulin specific CD8 positive T cells, CD4 T cells, and the CD4 and the CD8 memory T cells, and the CD80 positive and CD80 positive, 86 positive dendritic cells, as, we, as well as TH1 and the TH17 uh, helper cells uh, from their phenotype as well as a relative cytokine expression. Thank you very much. I would like to thank my colleague and colleagues in the group and the other uh, now members and uh, research sponsors uh, for our uh, for, to support our research. Thank you.